there is no such thing as job security if you are in a very safe job which means if you think you are a great performer your client loves you your employer loves you your great skills and because of which your job is very secure then let me tell you that you might face a shock one fine day the times and the age in which we are living there is no such thing as job security i faced it two times in my career over the last 20 plus years the first incident was in the year 2001 when i joined as a trainee and even before the training period was over we were told by the hr that our job is not getting confirmed because of the dot com bubble burst there was a significant reduction in the business and since there was no business in the pipeline we were asked to find another job which means once our training period was over we were asked to leave so that was the first real life experience where i faced a layoff and that's when i got this realization that without any mistake of mine i can just lose my job one fine day that was the first example the second example happened with me around 10 years ago when i was in the us i was in a project management role it was a very important project management role for a very important client and i was super busy doing that role i felt like i was the most important person on the planet but one fine day my boss approached me and told me that i need to move out of san jose and go to another city in the us at another client location it was unbelievable for me because the kind of role that i was doing that was extremely important for this current customer but my boss told me that they will take care of the replacement they will figure out what needs to be done on this project but i needed to move out of the city and go and join another team because that project was more important so this was second example when i realized that business priorities drive decisions of who is going to work on what project so even if you are super important for the current project tomorrow there can be an even bigger project even critical situation and your company can decide that you don't need to work here you need to work over there so it's a pure business decision hence our presence or our importance or our job actually depends on a lot of factors that we don't control for example when the pandemic came a lot of businesses got closed and hence a lot of people lost their job there is a war going on between two countries and because of which country a can decide we are not going to continue projects with country b and hence our jobs may get impacted because of a ongoing war there are other examples like cost reduction automation and so on and so forth where a lot of people have got impacted the jobs have been taken away overnight and again it is not because of any issues in our performance or any issues in our skills it is just that the nature of the economy or the nature of the business is such that these things have become part and parcel of our careers so now having said that here is what i want to tell you you need to work hard for your job you need to work hard for your company but you need to work even harder for yourself which means while you are working for the company or the client you need to have a separate focus on yourself you need to be a little selfish and ask yourself what is in it for me how am i learning how am i growing how am i getting challenged is there anything that i am getting because of this job or because of this role so for companies and for projects we have a project plan we have a schedule we have a budget we do risk assessment we do issue management and that's what happens in every company for every project similarly we need to do it for ourselves we need to have a very clear career plan for ourselves and we need to do all these things we need to have a separate budget for our own self that okay i am going to spend this much money on my own upskilling reskilling these are the tools that i'm going to invest on these are the trainings on which i'm going to invest on these are the certifications on which i'm going to invest on so there has to be a proper planning with respect to a timeline with respect to how you are going to invest money on yourself what is that you are going to achieve because of those trainings and certifications what kind of roles are more appealing for you or make sense for you and when what kind of companies do you want to really target those roles so there has to be a thought there has to be planning and then there has to be execution and of course we need to also plan our finances well so that we know that okay one fine day if there is a shock or a surprise coming our way we have enough money in the bank invested or saved with us so that we can take 
a little time to get into another job. So all these things need to be planned as a part of our career planning. Exactly similar to how we plan and execute projects for a corporate. Each career move of yours has to be thought through. It should not be just because of some impulsive decision. All right, so I hope you get the message. There is no such thing called as job security. We have to deal with it and we'll be in a better position to deal with it if you plan our career well and if you are ready for any unforeseen circumstances. I hope this helps you. Do let me know your thoughts in comments. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, do hit the like button and share it in your WhatsApp network. With that, I take your leave. Take care and bye for now.